He had another chance last night. Joe Biden, President of the United States. Better for worse. I think we all see it's pretty much always for worse. Uh, but he had an opportunity to bring together the American people and say some intelligent things, first of all, about the national healing process that should still be underway in the aftermath of the horrific shooting in Uvalde, um, among some other shootings as well in recent days that haven't gotten nearly as much attention, but also atrocious, uh, the shooting in Oklahoma, for example. Uh, but Joe Biden took the opportunity to give a speech that was rooted in emotional blackmail a lot of untruths, a lot of misdirection, and was basically just an opportunity to attack his political opponents. Instead of actually looking at what would be serious about trying to stop violence in this country, Joe Biden wants to tell you how much he hates the NRA and the gun owners out there who don't want to go along with this. Here he says, though, that he has bipartisan legislation to do something. This time, we have to take the time to do something. And this time, it's time for the Senate to do something. But as we know, in order to do any, get anything done in the Senate, we need a minimum of 10 Republican senators. I support the bipartisan efforts that include a small group of Democrats and Republican senators trying to find a way. But my God, the fact that the majority of the Senate Republicans don't want any of these proposals even to be debated or come up for a vote, I find unconscionable. We can't fail the American people again. Do what, Joe? And that's really what this comes in. Okay, do what? We'll talk about some of the things that he said should be done. And see, the reason they want to get so much of the emotion out there is that they just want a mobilized mentality on this issue without having to explain how then the actions that they want taken wouldn't actually change anything that we've seen going on. I mean, for example, Biden mentioned there have been 20 mass shootings. Now, how you define mass shootings is something that people uh, have. There are different definitions of it out there, but usually it's three or more people who have been shot. Often these mass shootings involve gang activity and other criminal activity that has, is completely in a different um, category from the kind of mass murder that we saw in that school in Uvalde. But here's Biden saying there have been 20 mass shootings since Uvalde. Watch. Since Uvalde, just over a week ago, there have been 20 other mass shootings in America, each with four or more people killed or injured, including yesterday at a hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma. A shooter deliberately targeted a surgeon using an assault weapon he bought just a few hours before his rampage that left the surgeon another doctor, receptionist, and a patient, dead, and many more injured. That doesn't count the carnage we see every single day. It doesn't make the headlines. So how would any of the things, which include an assault rifle ban, uh, magazine limitations, how would any of these things that he wants, safe storage requirements, red flag laws, would they have stopped, he said there have been 20 mass shootings, would they have stopped any of those mass shootings? If the answer is yes, Joe Biden should tell us how and which mass shooting would have been stopped. Let's just say, for example, the shooter in Tulsa, Oklahoma, had been told, sorry, there's an assault rifle ban in effect. The shooter could have just bought a pistol, just as lethal. Could have used two pistols, like the horrific mass shooting at Virginia Tech, where it was two pistols, it was not a rifle that was used in that mass shooting. In fact, if you look at the Fort Hood shooting, another mass shooting, high casualty count, many deaths attributed to that incident, that horrific incident, pistols. 